Let's go graduate. I can't see you guys right now because I don't have my contacts in, but today is graduation day. Good morning vlog. I'm a little bit more awake now. It's 5.29 in the morning. Let's see if I could show you guys. 529. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, and I am graduating college today. I'm graduating from Towson University. Today is a very, very big day. I'm trying to like depuff a little bit because I just feel puffy this morning. My graduation today starts at 10 a.m. and I have to get there at 8.30 a.m. or like at least be there by 8.30 a.m. So that is why I'm up at 5 in the morning and I need to start on my makeup ASAP. If you guys saw yesterday's vlog, you would see how stressed I am. But yeah, we're gonna get ready for the day. I have my little cart next to me that has all my makeup in it. That ice roller actually feels really good. I thought I would hate it because it's so early, but it feels really good. I already moisturized my skin, so I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. primer. I honestly don't know if this works. Like, I've had this for so long and I've used it so many times that I honestly feel like I don't see a difference when I use it. But everyone seems to love it, so I'm like, am I doing something wrong? I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions. Do a little chit-chat, get ready with me. So I will get into those questions after I start on my makeup a little bit. I'm deciding between these two face products for my base. I'm kind of nervous that this one will be too dark, but I don't actually use this one that often. This one's the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and then this one is the Bounce Skin Tint by Beauty Blender. I think I might mix them, honestly. Actually, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go in with the Skin Tint one first. I'm so excited to show you guys my graduation dress. Since my graduation is a winter semester graduation, I am wearing a long sleeve dress today, which I feel like people normally wouldn't do. Like, I feel like it's kind of like more traditional to wear like a short dress. And I thought that it matched the vibe of graduating in the winter season. I'm gonna try and like hurry up and do my makeup because I really wanna have it done by like 6.15. That's like insane to say. Like I want my makeup done by 6.15 in the morning. And I have so many blemishes that I need to cover. So like I said, my graduation starts at 10 in the morning and guests have to be there by 8.30. Well, the doors open for guests at 8.30. I told my family to get here super early so that they can get good parking and get good seats. The school actually gave us permits for graduates to park closer, but like, I think it's still a pretty far walk and I'm wearing heels today. That's gonna be pretty unfortunate for me. And I really want to bring you guys along with me like on my smaller camera, but I don't know if I am allowed to bring that because where would I put it on stage we don't have like a rehearsal or anything so I'm kind of confused why did we didn't have a rehearsal because I don't know I feel like it's weird not to have like a rehearsal for graduation I guess because it's college but like still so I have no idea what like the schedule is like how are we gonna line up where are we lining up who am I standing next to I have no idea and that makes me really nervous just because I like to plan ahead like I'm such a planner also I just used my it cosmetics bye bye dark spots concealer this stuff is literally amazing if you have dry skin this is like the best concealer it's seriously so hydrating because it has like serums in it I think it's a corrector and a serum so definitely recommend that but yeah I feel like that's also why I'm stressed because we didn't practice like walking I really hope I don't- Oh my gosh. I just remembered my dress is like really tight. So last time when I wore it for my pictures, my grad pics, I had to put it on first before I started my makeup. Okay, that's a problem for later. That is seriously a problem for later. I'm not putting in my dress right now. It's too late. Also, look at my really cute PJ set. This is actually the first time I'm wearing it. I actually forgot all about it, but last night I changed into it. Isn't it so cute? It's from Target. It's a winter PJ set. I love it. I think it looks so cute. I also have a blanket because I'm freezing. They made a little TikTok about them. And it was my first TikTok to ever hit a million views. So I think that's pretty cool. I am going to go ahead and get into the questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, you should follow it. So that next time when I ask you guys for questions, you guys can answer if you're not following me already. So let me start off with the college related ones because it's really fitting for this get ready with me. Someone asked how to balance school, work, and working out. 
I literally have not been able to work out because of how much time I put into studying. That is definitely something I used to struggle with all the time, especially when I was in nursing. I literally didn't work out at all because I was too stressed about studying and making sure like I knew everything for class. And for me, what I had to do was just make time. Like I know it's like hard to say like make time when you feel like you have no time. Would often fall into this like unhealthy pattern of like, oh, I can't work out because that workout time could be put into studying and I should be only studying which I used to do all the time and have that mindset which was the worst but what I started to do is make time throughout my schedule so like if I knew I had like a whole day of classes I would get up early and go to the gym like no excuse I'm gonna wake up early and go to the gym and not feel guilty about it because that's another thing is that I feel like it's so easy to feel guilty like being like oh I should be like studying instead of being at the gym but honestly you need to take a break from studying either way you mentally just need a break and working out at least for me is such a stress reducer and I would always feel so much better after I worked out my advice is definitely plan out your day ahead of time like the day before and if you're gonna be spending the whole day studying I definitely think that like waking up really early to go to the gym having that like the first thing to do is the best way to do it because I feel like once you're in that mindset of oh I need to study I need to study all day or you've just been like studying for hours it's harder to like want to go to the gym and once you like do that you'll get into a routine I haven't done my eyebrows in so long the other day I bought this elf ultra precise brow pencil hopefully it's good because I've never tried this product but elf is one of my favorite go-to brands when I like want to try out new things okay so the next question is or like I you guys questions or like topics to talk about someone said making and losing friends as college students slash young adults it's tough out here girl i agree it's definitely tough out here and honestly i feel like i'm not the best person to talk about this because i don't have many friends at my college and i truly believe it's because i am a transfer student and i fully feel like when i got here everyone already had their friend groups and had the people that they want to like hang out with from freshman year like honestly it's so hard to make friends in college when you're a transfer student so i feel like that was like kind of hard at first because i was like what the heck this is not what i was expecting like i'm supposed to have all these friends i was supposed to be going out like all the time so i didn't really make that many friends i definitely talked to a lot of people and made some really great friends when i was in the nursing program because we we're all really struggling together and we had like the same interests and we had the same things to do all day so like I just eventually found friends there but for me I just learned to be more independent I'm already a very independent person to begin with like I'm very much a homebody I don't like to go out all the time I love hanging out by myself whenever I hear people say they don't like to be alone I'm the complete opposite like I love being alone so I feel like that's another thing that helped is that I'm already in the person person oh my god into person person independent person it's too early guys i'm really tired but i truly believe that you will find the friends that are meant for you you also don't want a whole bunch of friends that like are fake and are not worth your time and just drain your energy so i would rather have like a couple really good friends rather than like a whole bunch of like fake girls that don't actually like me you know and then as for the losing friends part i definitely think that sometimes people will just grow apart as we get older but if you're saying like losing friends with like a toxic person then i think that's a win for obvious reasons like no one needs to be in a toxic friendship but my advice to you is to just learn to be more independent and those people who are meant to be in your life will find you i know it kind of sucks in the moment to feel like you don't have a lot of friends or a lot of people in your corner but it will get better i feel like all in good timing you'll find the people who are meant to be your friends should i put on eyeliner today i think i'm going to let's hope this wing goes okay shout out to maya she left her eyeliner here this is a maybelline new york masterpiece all day this actually is really good like it stays all day at this rate i'm going so slow i don't even know if i'll be able to answer all the questions you guys asked on my instagram but i'm gonna try to answer as many as i can i'm gonna do my wings real quick Guys, my wings are honestly not it today. I just did them. Um, don't care. Don't care though. Like, I don't have time to make them perfect. Ew, they're actually so ugly. Hold on. 
we're gonna leave it alone before I mess them up some more. I'm gonna try and finish my makeup in the next like 10 minutes. Like I need to hurry. Some of you guys asked about YouTube and how I started and they're like just nervous too. So let me give a little backstory of how I started my channel. So I started, I think when I was a freshman at community college. So like I just graduated high school. So that winter time of 2019 or early 2020, I always wanted to do YouTube. I loved watching YouTube. I loved the whole like beauty guru era and I knew that that was something I wanted to do just as a hobby for fun because I knew since I would be going to community college I wouldn't be like necessarily having as much fun as I feel like college freshmen do like I lived at home I didn't make any friends at my community college and basically I was just there to get my schoolwork done and leave and I just wanted to do something that would like make me happy and hopefully connect me with a lot of other people. Now I have you guys in my life and I'm so extremely grateful for you all. And that's honestly why I wanted to start a channel just to connect with new people and to document my life. I want to be able to look back on these videos when I'm older and to see the life I was living. I would always like make like little get ready's with me for like prom and stuff on my phone and then edit them and never upload them so i just knew it's something i wanted to do and i also needed to just face my fear and post so when i first uploaded my first ever video it was a fashion show video because i was in an annual fashion show charity event for kids in the philippines for like school supplies clothes shoes things like that so i thought that would be like the most perfect thing to make my first video because it was very special to me it was a fun event and I thought like maybe some people would like to see that and when I uploaded I did not tell a single soul I never posted on my Instagram about it. I never really told people about it I feel like the first person I told was obviously my mom and Alexa and my dad The first other person I told was Claudia I think she was the first one out of my friend group that I told then I also told Andrew because me and Andrew were little lovers back then So those were like the first people that I told and I started right after high school because I was scared of people like making fun of me and honestly, what I can say is that my biggest regret is not starting sooner. Like I really wish I had those like high school vlogs and made videos throughout my high school life. So I'm telling you, if you really want to start YouTube, start it now. And if you're nervous, then just don't tell anyone about it. Like what I did, it took me forever to start posting about YouTube on my Instagram because I felt like people would just be like, um, what are you doing? And I've just learned to ignore what people say. Like, honestly, I don't care. People will always have something to say, whether it's about YouTube or about literally anything. Who cares what those people think? And you'll fine tune with that the more you like upload and do stuff, but it is very scary. I definitely agree, but just do it. Just upload, start making videos. Life is too short to keep waiting. And who cares what people think? Because you can honestly go so far with it. I never thought I would have 50K and now I have all of you guys. And when I'm older, I can't wait to look back on these videos. So just do it. I think I'm pretty much almost done with my makeup. I just need to put on this lash. I'm trying to really hurry up because Andrew is coming here. So is the rest of my family, but Andrew's actually like coming inside here. And I literally turn into such a monster when I'm rushing and feel overstimulated. Like I just start panicking easy. And then I just start like yelling, like not like yelling like mean, but like I'm just like yelling about like random stuff. Like I need this, I need that, like somebody help. I'm actually gonna move you guys a little bit closer because I feel like I've been far away from you guys this whole time. So you guys can see my makeup a little bit better. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on my waterline. It's like still dark out. When is the sun supposed to rise? Cause what is going on? I feel like it should have risen by now, but it is only 6.13, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like so bad at answering questions right now. Like, I might have to save some of those for like one of my next vlogs. But I just put on my lashes. I think they look so cute. These are the Kiss lashes. I don't know what, 72484. I don't think I'm gonna put on my lip liner till later, so let me set that out. I think I'm gonna bronze my face up a little bit more. A lot of you guys also asked about like acne tips in my skincare. I also feel like I'm not the best to ask about that because I've been struggling with my skin for the longest time. Like I really need to go see a dermatologist, but I do the most minimal skincare now because I'm scared of everything breaking me out. So all I use is CeraVe facial cleanser, like the foaming one, the green bottle. Then I use the CeraVe moisturizer. I think that's literally the only two products i use i only answered a couple questions i'm so sorry i have to answer some of them in a different vlog i'm like a mess right now i went to target yesterday and i got the stay all night microfine setting mist 
from elf i never use setting spray so like do i spray this now or should i spray it later but i finished my makeup now so i feel like i should spray it now what time is andrew leaving is he already on his way oh my gosh he's like almost here what okay let's spray this So I think this is going to be the makeup for now. Later on, I'm going to add a little bit of bottom mascara in my lip liner, but it's only 619, so I don't need to do that right now. The next thing I'm going to do is my hair. I think for today, we're going to curl my hair because my ends look dry already and they're going to get frizzy. I'm going to hurry up and try and do this because I'm paranoid and I just want to be ready already. So I don't think I'm going to talk through it with you guys. I feel like I did enough talking in that get ready with me. But I'm going to curl my hair and hopefully get this done within the next like 20 minutes. And I'm using a curling wand with like a really big barrel. I'm going to have some big loose curls. <laughs> spray in it yet i think i might do that in a little bit because i feel like i'm gonna have to retouch it right before i leave and then i have like this piece in a clip I'm trying to make it have some more volume so i think i'm almost ready for the most part i'm going to wait until andrew gets here to put on my dress because i feel like i'm gonna need help with that like i really don't want to get my makeup on it because it's a white dress here's the outfit for today if you guys watched my last vlog and follow me on instagram you've already seen this dress but this is a dress it's a long sleeve and it has that cute little backless part up here and then over here is the gown i'm gonna wear i already steamed all this last night so i'm hoping i don't have to steam it again so yeah i don't know what to do now i haven't drank any coffee or eaten any food like it's just so early i'm not hungry but i feel like i should make some coffee so i won't be tired later on like i literally woke up at 5 a.m and then i end up making chia seed pudding last night so i feel like i should eat that also the sun is finally starting to rise look how pretty it looks gorgeous out there. I don't know. Should I eat? Oh my gosh. It literally looks so pretty. Let's take a moment. Let's think. Do I make coffee? Do I eat something? I guess I should probably eat some chia seed pudding. Like I literally already made it last night. Cheers. I actually decided that I'm going to make coffee. I'm trying to be quiet. And I'm being loud. <laughs> graduation is later on i don't need to be waking her up right now i just took the rollers out of my hair and then andrew just got here i think so i need to go downstairs and get him but when i come back up we're putting on my dress i'm finishing the last makeup touches and then i want to try on my cap and gown so let's go downstairs and get andrew i literally need to put on clothes or a jacket or something this is what we're throwing on and i'm walking downstairs i haven't made my coffee brewed it but i need to like put milk and brown sugar because i'm starting to get a headache so i think i need some caffeine <laughs> pretty flowers that Andrew got yeah. me. Oh my gosh, an energy drink. How cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my dress. Okay guys, I just put on my dress. Oh, you can't even see it. This is what it looks like on. It's a long dress with the sleeves. Can you actually show them for me? What do we think, guys? I can't see, so. I don't know if you're in frame. I'm in frame. And then these are the heels I'm wearing. Some cute little short square black heels. I think I'm fully ready. All I have to do is put on my lip gloss and lip liner. Maybe touch up my hair a little bit and spray the hairspray I got. Um, but I want to try on my whole outfit. This is the gown and the little stole that I'm going to wear today. I haven't tried this on yet, but it should fit. I need to like roll this up because I don't like it showing past the sleeve part. I'm about to get makeup all over this. Let's see how it looks with me. How do I look? Do I look like a graduate? Uh, thanks. The tassel that I have is just all black. I don't know if it's supposed to be left or right side. And I also didn't decorate my cap because I'm boring. I think it's this side for now because I'm not fully graduated or is it the other side? Cute. Okay guys, I'm about to leave. This is the final look. I don't have my robe on because it's 
not flattering, but let's go graduate. <laughs> back home and I'm officially graduated. Today has felt like the longest day ever. It's 3.18 and we just got back to the apartment, me and Andrew, and my parents came, my Lola came, Amanda and her fiance came, and I just had all the people I love here, which is so amazing. And today was just such a good day. I am kind of in the middle of packing my apartment up. Parents took some of my stuff here so that when I move out tomorrow, I don't have to carry as much stuff. And Claudia already moved out, so it's just me tonight. Let me tell you guys about graduation a little bit. I'm gonna include all the clips and pictures from today of me getting my diploma. Well, my diploma, because it's really just like a circle of paper because they don't actually mail out the diplomas until they know for sure that we like passed with like our final grades and everything. But I just had such a good day. Graduation was so fun. Um, walked across the stage, got my degree, and I'm officially done with college. It's so unbelievable believable to me and yeah I got the most beautiful flowers from Claudia from Andrew and from my parents and then we went to Cheesecake Factory and I had a really good burger and then we did get a cheesecake we got the white chocolate raspberry I don't normally like white chocolate stuff but this it's just so good. Definitely one of my favorite cheesecakes from the Cheesecake Factory. And now I'm just back at the apartment. Let me show you guys what my parents got me. Um, they got this little calcium sweatshirt. I haven't opened it yet, but I think they bought it from like the little concessions at the graduation. Oh my gosh, it's a cute little crew neck. Oh my gosh, and then the back has all of the graduates name. Let me see if my name is on the back of here somewhere. Well, it has to be because this is literally every single name. Oh my god, I need to find mine. <gasps> oh my gosh, I found my name. It's right here. You guys probably can't see that. Oh my god, I love it. This is so cute. And then they got me like the cutest little gift in this Towson bag. I need to show you guys what they got. I showed you guys at the restaurant, but I'm gonna show you again. They got me this cute little Towson tiger stuffed animal. And then my mom got me my first big girl watch. I told her that when I get like a real girl corporate job, I want to have like a little mini watch to wear. So she got me this as a graduation gift. It's so cute, um, but it's a little too big. So she has to go get one of the links out. The last thing they got me is this little- Sorry. 
bless you this little pandora bracelet so i've been wanting like a new pandora charm bracelet because my other one was too big and this one is gold and silver because i know that i really love like two-tone stuff like i love gold and silver together that's an unpopular opinion because i feel like a lot of people don't like that but i like when they're together and they got me a cute little graduation cap. It's so cute. I seriously love it. And then I got the cutest cards from my Lola and my Lolo and from Amanda and Jeff. I just had the cutest gifts and the best day. And I think Andrew has a little something for me. No, I don't. You don't? No. Are you gonna give me a gift or what? <gasps> What'd you get me? OMG. Let's see. Oh my gosh, are these a new pair? <gasps> How cute! And she got me a new pair of the shoes that I wear or used to wear all the time, but I kind of destroyed. These are the Air Max, Air Nike, Nike Air Max 90s. Oh my gosh, thanks! Can't wait to wear them. They're so white. I'm not used to seeing them this white. I thought you were gonna be cute for a moment. Is there something else in here? Oh, the leggings. She got me some defined leggings in this royal blue color. You got me these a while ago. Two months ago. Like, yeah, two months ago, and I've been waiting to get my hands on them. Can't wait to wear that. Oh my gosh, and you got me some chocolate. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, give me a kiss. This one you might not think is cool. Might not think? Yeah. A pop on go. What? What do you mean I want to think this is cool? This looks just like me. Captain, oh my Captain gosh. Captain got everything, same colors. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it has curly hair. That's so cute. And then she's holding a little graduation cap. Oh, it's 8.15 p.m. I just took a really long nap and I didn't take off any of my makeup. I took a body shower, but I was trying to like preserve my makeup. But now it's like all off my face, except for under my eyes. So I need to take it off. I'm about to heat up my leftovers for dinner. My mac and cheeseburger. And I need to make a coffee. Even though it's already eight o'clock, but I haven't had a coffee today and I really want one. And the coffee that I brewed this morning is just sitting in the fridge. I never like put any oat milk or anything. So I'm going to make a little coffee. I just realized I gave my dad all of the forks and spoons and knives we have, so Andrew has to eat his pasta with the spoon. This is the last night I'll be spending in this apartment. This is so sad. We got a lot to do. I have to start packing up the rest of this apartment. I have all my stuff everywhere, but I'm just gonna make my coffee because Andrew wants to be loud. Me and Andrew are about to eat the cheesecake from earlier. We saved it because we were so full. I'm so excited to eat this, but I was on the phone with my family for like a long time because we had a lot of catching up to do. So I'm just now heating up my burger and I took off all my makeup because my lashes were hanging by a thread and I just looked a mess. But I'm all nice and refreshed now. I cannot wait to eat this cheesecake. For the rest of the night, I'm probably gonna be like packing my apartment, doing laundry. I wanna have like all my stuff cleaned and packed for tomorrow. And tomorrow I am gonna vlog me moving back home. It looks so good. The graduate gets the first bite, right? Yeah, I'm scared. in my face. Mm. Grab your first two bites. <laughs> We're gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat the rest of my burger. Do you want a bite of it? Whatever. Hi guys, so it's now 2.36 in the morning. I've just been packing and cleaning and just trying to get the apartment together for move out tomorrow. I filmed like doing all this stuff in the apartment, but I don't know if I'm gonna just include that in this vlog or if I should just include it in tomorrow's vlog, which is gonna be like my move out vlog. Let me give you a quick preview of how the apartment looks right now. Pretty much everything is all packed. But anyways, I just wanted to end this video. Today was such a good day and I'm gonna remember it forever, especially now I can look back on this day from this vlog. I hope you guys had a fun time watching because it was actually a pretty fun day, but I'm gonna go to bed now. It's too late to be getting sentimental, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another vlog.